Are you building a new construction home and you're not sure what are the best upgrades and the worst upgrades? This video is for you. Hi, my name is Amy Brown. I'm a realtor with the legal team of Long and Foster. Let's get right into it. Some upgrades in new construction add value and some upgrades do not. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, the kitchen is so important for resale. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm building my new construction dream home. I'm never selling it. It's my forever home. But hold on, life has a way of changing our plans. So you still wanna have resale in the back of your mind, even if this is your forever home. For example, if there are upgraded cabinets, you definitely wanna consider upgrading those or if there's a gourmet kitchen option, which would add a double wall oven and more counter space, that's a really good use of your funds. It's really difficult to upgrade kitchen cabinets after the fact. And you would certainly wanna add in a kitchen island if it's not already included as a standard feature. Next, your basement. If it's possible, if it's an option, definitely increase the ceiling height and also finish the basement. You will not regret this and it's so important for resale. Flooring. Instead of upgrading the carpet itself, look at the cost to upgrade the padding. Spend more on the pad because that is what makes your carpet feel so wonderful to walk on. Plumbing rough-ins. If it's an option, definitely have uh, plumbing roughed in for future bathrooms or maybe a mudroom sink. Lighting. Addi adding additional recessed lighting and additional electrical outlets is something you will not regret. It's so much less expensive to do it when the walls are open. You don't have to cut into drywall and, and patch it. So now is the time. If you're not sure, add those items. Ask your builder if there are any energy saving options. Not only are these good for resale, they're good for your pocketbook. A larger garage. Ask your builder if there's an option to make the garage a little larger. You can use that space to add storage or maybe an extra refrigerator. And lastly, ask about any additional storage areas. We all have too much stuff and we need storage areas. These are the options you'd want to think twice about. These have a much lower return on investment. Number one, flooring. This might be cheaper to do after the fact. You might want to consider having the basic builder carpeting put in, and then a year or two after you live there, have upgraded flooring put in. Next up, fixtures. Light fixtures, kitchen fixtures, bathroom fixtures. Just get the basic provided from the builder and then go to Home Depot after you move in and upgrade all of those items. It'll be significantly cheaper. A master bedroom bump out. This is one of the lowest return on investments. So unless that's something that you have had your hearts, uh, just you've been wanting that for years, this is something you probably wanna skip. Marble countertops. Those are the beautiful for sure, but boy, are they expensive. You might want to look into granite or quartz as a more cost-effective option. Lastly, crown molding. I'm a huge fan of crown molding. I personally really like it. That's something that is likely cheaper to do after the fact by just hiring a handyman. Thank you for watching this video.